So if my living room was at work, um, this is probably what it would look like. I'm here with my Ifinity triple 46 inch setup that I'll be using for an episode of Tech Tips that may be up before, but it may be up after this video actually goes up. So I just want to take you on a little tour through the, uh, the construction because if you actually look around the room, you can see it's kind of a, you know, an empty space. So I figured, hey, why don't we use this for our, for our setup? And uh, yeah, so here, let's walk through it. So I found this couch um, upstairs where people have to wait. So anyone who had to wait for anybody today had to stand because I borrowed it. We've got the phantom lap board right here. So you can see that this guy, uh, we, I did an unboxing recently, but it's a laser mouse and a rotating keyboard with a mousing surface on the bottom of it. Great game controller when you're sitting on the couch. I've got a wireless Xbox 360 controller with my uh, Grip It rubberized uh, analog stick covers. All right, I got my remote for the TV. Uh, over here, I've got the TVs themselves. So these are all Samsung LCDs. They aren't LED backlit. They're not super high tech. The total cost for these three TVs at a big box store was $3,000. So, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of money, but it's not actually out of reach to set up something like this, which is pretty cool because the technology's just come so far. I've got my box for the Phantom Lap board. I had to kind of, um, well, this is random, but I had to sort of jury rig something to actually put the monitors on those. So these are all Antec DF30 boxes because they're quite sturdy and they're just kind of a, you know, glossy black box, so they look pretty nice. This is actually my media PC from home. Um, so this is a Silverstone SG01, which in my opinion was the best Sugo ever. Although the SG03 is pretty good too. I've got a little uh, iMon display, which I actually, I don't have the application open right now, but it shows me like what media is playing, the date and time. Uh, inside I've got a Core i5-750 quad core with a custom cabled Antec True Power 550 watt. So you can see my 8-pin connector, for example, is only exactly long enough to reach the 8-pin connector on the motherboard. Got a Zalman CPU cooler in there, keep things nice and cool, nice and quiet. And then uh, normally I keep a fairly modest video card in here, but as you can see, I have clearly upgraded it to the Radeon 6870. And what's really cool about this card is, uh, as you'll see in my length comparison on my blog, it's not actually that long. So you can install it quite easily in a media oriented or a, a mini ATX case and it'll still work just great. So I got my wireless, I got a gigabyte motherboard in there. Uh, okay, I think that's pretty much it. I got my Steam drive. So you can see my Steam drive back here. Runs off USB 3, contains all my Steam games because I use an SSD for my home computer so there's not enough space to store my like 50 something Steam games. Um, so I found that that solution actually works pretty well for me. So this is, oh crap, that one came undone. The HDMI cable I'm using is a little bit finicky. There we go. All right, so we can here, we can even go around the back and start to check out how everything's hooked up at the back. So as you may or may not know, Ifinity requires at least one DisplayPort compatible uh, monitor. So since most TVs, in fact all, do not have DisplayPort, what we're using is an active DisplayPort adapter back here. So that's a mini DisplayPort to DVI active adapter. It means it costs about a hundred bucks and you actually have to power it via a USB port. So that's back there and that one is running over to the far monitor. Then we're using native HDMI to HDMI for the middle monitor. And last but not least, we're using a DVI to HDMI cable for the left monitor when looking at them from the front. So what that means is that we're using all native digital signals, but we are using adapters. So the image quality is all going to be identical. It's just a matter of cables at the back. So um, there you have it. That's a little tour of the setup here. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to sort of, oh, yeah, right. Cameraman's reminding me of something we had discussed that I totally forgot. So what I want you guys to do is leave a comment at, uh, on the bottom of this video and say, first of all, if you installed this setup in your living room tonight, would you sleep tonight? And second of all, if you installed this, what would you do? How would you make this setup better to suit your personal needs?